there is. It's nothing like a good protein shake. So this is what we are installing today. We've got half inch uh, CP3 feed line or uh, fitting quick disconnect and then 10 and line we're gonna put this this is gonna be going from the lift pump all the way to the CP3 so I guess in order to do this the right way I'm gonna have to take off my thermostat housing and my upper coolant stuff. I'm also gonna take off my intake, move some stuff around, but I'm gonna try to just take my intake off first, see how that goes. She is, ladies and gentle boys. That's cool. 67.7 turbo with an HSP S400 kit. That's where I'm going. Let's see if we can move some of this stuff out of the way. This is my harness that I rewrapped. Still looking killer. Do say so myself. And there's there's a fuel line, so I might not have to take my coolant system out. That would be really nice. So you can see some of this stuff is dry rotting, which is why I don't know if y'all can see it. But it's just really old hose and. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So that is what we're doing. What is this? It's like... Twine. Alright, so... This is the hose that comes all the way up around here, wraps around, and goes back in here. And here is the quick disconnect. You know what? Dang it. All right, so I forgot, I forgot that I bought this piece this goes into the quick disconnect and this goes into the uh, new line so we'll just have to disconnect it from up there and connect the two down below and then run our line all up to the CP3 
to do is take this end, snap in there, take one of these little guys. this over this bucket and turn my truck on it is going to blow so much fuel let's do it Now we're just going to run this line up underneath the truck, measure it off, cut it. There we go. This is the two, this is the fleece half inch, and this is the other one. It's a pretty big difference. You know what? When I was little, my parents told me that if I screamed and there wasn't something wrong, they would give me something to scream. So my fuel is blue from the two stroke Just in case anyone's wondering. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down on this a little bit. Put that over there as quickly as we can. here we got all of this that's hanging down a little low for my comfort so we'll have to fix that strap it to that right there I'll we'll just strap all that up somehow not seeing any leaks up there there's the HSP trans
here. And I'm not seeing any leaks there either. That's good. So that's that's that. I did drip some fuel down in there. I need to get out there. All right. Hanging down a little low for my comfort, so we'll have to fix that. Strap it to that right there. I'll have to strap all that up somehow. Not seeing any leaks up there. There's the HSP trans. Now I'm not seeing any leaks there either. That's that. I did drip some fuel down in there. I need to get out there. All right. So that's what happens when you forget to uh, plug up your fuel rail pressure regulator. That is that on the install of the fuel line straight to the CP3 and rerouting all that stuff. So now I'm going to clean up a lot of that, take it out. Um, that'll be that. So I'm not going to film all that kind of stuff, but. Um. All right. So apparently the hardest part of all that was pulling out the old fuel line. It was pretty tough. Um, I didn't want to pull everything out, so I cut everything out. So, um, it's a pretty big job, but now there's no loop right here. It can get kinked, and it cleaned up um, the valley a little bit. Overall, it looks completely the same. Um, took I don't know, about four hours or so to do everything. Can't forget to plug that in. But I think it looks cleaner. Um, I do need to pull this off because that's just there for no purpose. And then I'd like to get a new a new block. Just take this block out actually and do some kind of connection between the um, the uh, injector return line going to those lines and then just replace those lines and leave all that uh, the way it is but yeah that's uh, that's it storms coming fought the weather all day so now that I've got that done guess I'll edit this and post it on YouTube.